My name is Brenda Schwab. I am a theater specialist and a costume designer, and I live and work in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I've been involved with the Creative Discovery Museum for a while, designing some costumes for Buzz Alley. I decided rather than doing little yellow and black striped hoodies, wouldn't it be wonderful to do something that really was more like a bee? So that's how I came up with the concept. For the past 18 years, I've been the resident costume designer for Chattanooga State Community College. I've always been an artist. I was not one of those children growing up that enjoyed riding a bike. I still don't know how to ride a bike. I was one of those kids that was making their own doll clothes. My grandmother was a quilter and taught me to hand sew at five. And at 10, I learned to use a sewing machine. When I went to college, I was an art major and I got heavily involved in the theater department. And that really became my great passion. As a costumer, I create garments for actors to wear in a particular play that's being presented on stage. When I choose fabrics for a garment, I always check what's called the hand. That's the term we use for how it feels. You check the hand of the fabric, you check the way it's going to move, you check the texture, and the desired result from any piece of fabric kind of depends on a period you're working in or the function of the garment. All those kinds of things lend themselves to the silhouette and how you want the garment to move. Silhouette is a word that references the shape that's created by the line of something. So if I draw a box, I have created a square silhouette. If I extend that to an actual garment, then the silhouette would be more like this, a waistline and a skirt and legs. I'm one of those costumers who likes to clothe their actors rather than costume their actors. I like for my actors to look like real people on the stage, wearing real clothing from that period. My job as a costumer is not to create fashion. It is to help carry out the vision of a director. So I have to try and get inside the director's head to understand how they see the show and how they see the characters. Then you put pencil to paper and start rendering. A rendering is a drawing of a garment or a set piece for a particular production of a play. After the renderings are done, you take them to the director and the director signs off on your drawings. Then I take my actor's measurements based on the silhouette of the garment. After the measurements are taken, I would choose fabrics. You want your actors to feel good in what they're wearing. After a garment is put together, you have to do fittings to make sure that the garment fits the actor the way it needs to. Then the finishing process happens from there. Putting on a production of a play, 
is one of the most collaborative things you can ever do because you're all going for one common vision. You know, you want the play to look a certain way. And when you stand at the back and you watch behind the audience and you see what the audience is seeing, it's wonderful. And part of what I love about doing what I do is I'm transporting all of those people in the audience, possibly to a different time, different space, different mindset,